here they go. It's Friday, April 5th. The year is 2000. Grayson. Great right, to get Grayson and Ginger in prison. Ginger's locked up right now because I had to chase her ass. She got loose. She ran out this back door. And I chased her ass up and down the streets for a whole hour. She was running all over there. I was so goddamn mad with that damn dog. I had to calm myself down from choking the shit out of her ass. And I did catch her. I finally got her. I caught her between. She ran up this drive and I catch her at that same house. Because there ain't no way in and out. So I ran up that driveway. And I said, okay, I got your ass now. Because you ain't going to be getting that backed into a corner. Grayson locked up well because Ginger was acting bad, so I had to lock Grayson ass up. So since Ginger was acting bad and, and so you know, I did the way my mama used to do us when we were little kids. Since Ginger was acting bad, Grayson got locked up too. Shut up! Go in the corner. And shut up. Be quiet. Anyway. Today is one of them gorgeous days. It was cold outside. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I wouldn't say cold. Oh, here they go. I wouldn't say it was cold outside, but it was. Yeah, today was. The weather is kind of weird here in Atlanta. One second it's hot, next it's cold, next it's hot, and next it's cold. It's just kind of like, okay. Will you shut up? Yeah. You're my damn nerves. Come on. Come here, come here, Gracie. Come here, Gracie. I know you said, I have not made an appearance. I have not made an appearance in weeks. Weeks I have not been. I'm still here. I'm the star of the show. I'm weeks has been weeks and weeks and weeks. I have not been seen on your news. Yeah. So here's Gracie. His eyes fixed. Oh, God, they need baths, though. Oh. Any bass. It's a beautiful Friday evening. It's almost eight o'clock at night. And um, today has been one of those days. Today was a long day. This whole week has been. You know, I had that roof repaired this week. So the past seven days, I was dealing with that, and I love the roof. It came out great. I had to clean up a lot of mess. It was expensive to get that roof fixed. It needed to be fixed. There was water leaking through the house. When they tore, quiet, just quiet, get away from my feet, move. When they finally tore that roof off the house, there was three layers of roof and shingles up there on the flat part. You know what? I didn't told y'all to get off and away from my damn feet. Get! Yeah. Call that racket out. So, there was three layers of roof up there on that roof. They had to tear all that shit off. Then we finally got to the deck and it was a it was rotted. Which is how the water was getting in the house. We didn't realize it was three thick layers of decking on that flat roof that we ripped off of there. So we got down to the decking, we replaced the decking, the, the decking that was rotted, sealed everything up. It was a lot of lot of work involved in that roof. It's beautiful now. The flat roof is like a commercial flat roof and a, <coughs> it's unusual for houses to have this particular roof that I have on it because normally it would be on a building. But because this roof was so large, they said, we can't do a residential, you need a commercial roofing system. And that's what we did here. And they pitched it a little bit. So it came out perfect. It's like, it's beautiful up there now. Um, but anyway, today, this has been one of those weeks I've had to deal with a lot of people. Well, why do niggas lie so damn much? Yeah, you know, why do niggas lie so damn much? Why do niggas lie so motherfucking much? You want to know if a nigga's lying? Is his lips moving? These niggas lie. Lord have mercy. They lie so damn much. You just get sick of it. The lying, the game, it's the bullshit. When these niggas come around here, I just the lies that come out their mouth is just like, do you really believe what you just told me? Just lie after lie after lie after lie. Hey! Get out of these steps. Come here, Ginger. Ginger! She didn't ran up the damn steps. I knew her ass. Get, get out of these steps. I meant to close that gate. 
She the only one that's running upstairs. I'm gonna take y'all out in a few minutes. In a few minutes. Ginger. And they tore up one of my mats out on the porch. I think it was old. I bought some I bought some new mats. What are you doing over there? Ginger! Ginger! Get out! Come here, Ginger. Hey, hey, here. I'm gonna lock your ass in that cage. Yep, you're gonna get locked up. I didn't buy these damn dogs. Somebody else did. But I got to take care of these fucking mutts. Anyway, niggas lie so damn much. It's just ridiculous. You want to know how nigga... You want to know if a nigga's lying to you, is his lips moving? Then a nigga lying to you. About every goddamn thing. Then you find out the fucking truth. And you know when you find out the truth of a nigga lying? You know how they attack you? You get attacked because you find out the fucking truth. I don't know why niggas lie so damn much. It's just lie after lie. These roll lips is there. I mean, it just lies just roll off their damn lips for no reason. Just, just lie after lie after lie after lie. You just be like, what is wrong? Why do you have to tell so many lies? Ginger, I see you. I'm watching you. Grace, we need to clean your eyeballs too because kind of you got you got a little something going on there. I'm going to clean you in just a few minutes and I'll take y'all out. Yeah, you got something going on with your eye. You got something going on there, baby. You need to be clean. I'm going to clean you in just a few minutes. Some mucus or something. Yeah, that surgery. Niggas lie so fucking much. Then they try to make you out to be the bad person because you didn't caught them in their fucking lies. I never, I don't get it. I don't get it, the lying ass niggas. I guess that's just the, 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 pimp, the price for dealing with these ignorant motherfuckers. Get sick of their asses. You know, when I see white guys, when I see black guys dating white guys, it doesn't bother me because I get it. I understand it. I, it doesn't bother me at all. People are like, hey, he dating a white guy. I said, yeah, he probably having the best time of his damn life for all I, for all I know. I, I don't know, shit. Most in the I see a lot of these black guys dating white guys and, I, and they be happy for years. 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 I team the guy. I say, okay, they're still together, so something must be going on good. I don't know. I mean, it's good cocaine. Who knows? Shit. But with these niggas, that shit never lasts. Not without somebody getting seriously hurt. I could tell you some motherfucking stories. But anyway, I said I wasn't going to be on them rap videos. But, you know, I'm just sick of niggas, though. Ooh. They are aggravating as hell. They are. I got a few more things I need to finish at this house so I can slap a for sale sign in the yard and get the fuck up out of here. Enough. Y'all go back to my townhouse over in Grand Park. I dig it. Hell, I should have, you know how you really don't appreciate something and you leave it to the after you go and you say, damn, that townhouse wasn't so bad after all. Yeah, but there's three, two flights of stairs to walk up, and the third floor can get kind of hot sometimes. I go sleep on the couch downstairs. At least I had to do all, none of this maintenance. This shit just swept through my damn bank account like a hurricane, just category five hurricane. And I'm like, okay, well, my account, every time my accounts recover, hey, something else, I'm just waiting for something else to happen over here. I'm just like, okay, we get the roof in place. I'm like, okay, what's next? I'm just looking around. <laughs> When that storm, there was a big storm coming through, I said, Lord, I hope the storm don't damage this damn house and I have to go ahead and fix this shit. I think the only thing I left that's to replace major size, I think I might need a new hot water heater. And that's just as a precaution because it's, it, they say it's about eight, nine years old. But I just have a sneaky suspicion. One day I'm going to go hop in the shower and turn on the water. It's going to be freezing cold. I'm like, oh shit, this shit freezing. Go down there and stare that hot water heater. It's going to be saying, I'm, I'm, it's dead. I said, he didn't die. You can't bring it back to life? You can't rescue it and bring it back? You can't beat on his chest? Hook it up to the machine and bring the hot way? Yeah, I, was, I think we're going to have to walk down that base in the hot way. You're going to be laid over in the corner like this. Dead. Dead. Uh, this motherfucker didn't die on my ass. So I think I might want to replace it before we get to that point. So I've been pricing it out. <laughs> I heard some high-ass prices. It's a big-ass house and a big-ass heater. 
Oh, you know, this one's old, so we got to bring it to code. Whenever a contract came out to say they got to bring this shit to code, get ready. That means they about to tear your damn wallet up. We got to bring it to code. We must bring to code. There is a code. You hear that? You say, what do you say? Code, code, code. Bring the code, code, code. Two weeks, we bring the code. And they say bring that two weeks out, your ass is doomed, honey. That means two months. Although I'm happy that we did get this roof torn off this house and replaced within a week and a half. It's, it's fine. My neighbors, they just love it. One of my neighbors, she said, oh, it's just gorgeous. It's just beautiful. She said, roof costs. She couldn't wait to climb up this damn hill. <laughs> she could barely walk. What it cost? Man, why'd you pay on that roof? I know this was expensive. I said, you yeah, more than I wanted to pay, which is the truth. When they tore that shit off, it was just, uh, yeah, it was like this. But anyway, I'm going to take these months out before they pee on this floor I just mopped. What is it? Ginger is just, she's just into all kinds of stuff. She's the bad one. Grayson just followed Ginger around. It's ridiculous. Now he over there hunching on your Grayson! Quit hunching on your damn sister. Ridiculous. Hey, go play with your toys. That's a good dog. You play with your toys. Grayson found a toy to play with. Yeah, baby, uh, the baddest dogs I know. Anyway, this is going to be a long video. Yeah, somebody didn't piss me off with their fucking lies and just get sick of it. You know, should you call up the person, call them out on their fucking lies? Nigga, you lying. I want to say that so bad sometimes. I'm going to say, nigga, why do you lie so fucking much? But I'm going to keep the peace. <laughs> nigga, stop fucking lying. But I'm going to keep the peace. Lying ass motherfucker. I want to keep the peace. There ain't no sense. I know it's a lie, so it's kind of like, okay. Just lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. Just shut up! God damn it, don't say shit. And you open them up, your fucking mouth and fucking lie fall out. I'm going to take y'all out right now and wash your eye in a few minutes. I'm trying to enjoy my drink. I guess I can get up and get dressed because it's freezing cold out there. What's the temperature outside? The temperature keeps dropping. The temperature keeps dropping, dropping. What's the temperature outside? When it is hot, next day it's cold. When it is hot, next day it's cold. It is. What's the temperature? 56 degrees. I'm going to put on a jacket and take their asses out. Put Ginger on the leash because she's going to run all over this fucking neighborhood. She got what? She ran all up and down this damn street. Even the neighbors were trying to catch her ass. She was just running, 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 running. Sick of her ass. She got to be leashed at all times when she go outside. You might go for that leash, she's run over there because she know, huh? If you don't put me on the leash, daddy, I'm going to run all up and down this damn street. I'm going to run all the way up and down and back and forth. Hmm, I'm stuck with these fucking nuts. Anyway, today is Friday. It is April 5th. The year is 2024. Yeah, if, you, if you're a person that's a prolific liar, just stop it. People know when you're lying. Just tell the fucking truth. Or shut your fucking mouth. If you can't tell the truth, then don't say shit at all. You're lying all the damn time. You just sit there silent. I would prefer that. Myself personally, just shut your fucking mouth and sitting over there and don't say shit. So every time you open your fucking mouth, a lot roll out. It's ridiculous. Anyway, let me take these dogs up for the pee. Get over here. Y'all doing too much running around. Come on. All right, let me take them out. I'm out of here today. It's Friday, 50 years, 2024. I'm out and we take these dogs for a walk and enjoy this beautiful Friday evening.